Internationalization is essential to make OpenStack truly ubiquitous and accessible to people of all languages. Frank and Ian, um, you're both involved in the I18N OpenStack Community Project. Yes. Um, could you first of all explain what I18N is and, and how it fits in with the overall OpenStack community? Yeah. yeah. So internationalization team is uh, aims to uh, all the project, not only for project widget for, such as Horizon is a kind of some web-based project and then it needs to be internationalized to all the countries and all the languages. So I18 team aims to translate not only this, but also, also translate all the documents. And we also uh, work to how to uh, translate and how translation widget is merged with all the project repositories in OpenStack world. Frank, this must be a big job. This, this, we are talking, we're talking a lot of documents. Aren't yes, we? of course. We have a lot of, of documents in books, in manuals, but also, if you imagine, um, front ends like uh, uh, Horizon and OpenStack and with the different plugins. And tra traditionally, the front end is in English, or most of the, Eng uh, of the technical documentation is in English. But there are all people with other language background in the world, mm -hmm. like uh, in the um, Asia uh, area, and this needs also to accessible to the um, to the documents or to the front ends. And it's mostly easier if you can use the software in your own language. Sure. And how much of a challenge is this? Because um, we're talking a, a lot of materials. I mean, how how many languages are you are you been translating into and making accessible? Is, is, is there a fixed number or you, do you select a certain few? So yeah, IA team, team works with many volunteers. Mm -hmm. So currently, uh, as far as I remember, more than 15 language teams uh, have worked in IA team. team. So yeah, currently, yeah, about 10 languages are currently available for Horizon and there yeah, maybe six, seven to eight languages are available for documentation. Oh. And, and Frank, is this something that you need to um, constantly work at? Because the, the release of OpenStack, it's, it's a rapid release schedule. It's always, it's always new. It's always in Delta. If there are new features into the, the, the software is coming, then you have to translate, of course, new mm. strings into that. Um, yeah. And yeah. what, you, you've been working on this for a few years now. Um, what is it you, you need the community? How can the community at large help you? So OpenStack community helps a lot for translation activities. For example, in OpenStack release, there is soft string fridge and hard string fridge. Soft string fridge means that for every project, uh, every project they should st fridge strings first. And then I18 team translates a lot for Horizon, for example, especially, and uh, also some plugins uh, on the Horizon. After that, uh, project uh, finally frees strings hardly, hard. So this kind of activities is very helpful for I18 team. And is this something within the open source world? It is unique to OpenStack, or do you see is the internationalization more common in other uh, open source areas? I think it's more common. Oh, uh, mm. yeah. It's yeah. common for other projects, but OpenStack internationalization team is very strong because that we only use open source, open source sheet for internationalizing everything in OpenStack. Yeah. It's a kind of some, uh, some policy, uh, some principle in OpenStack, so we would like to kindly follow open principle, for open principle. Yeah. And a final question is, do you get good feedback from the users and the, and the community? Do they, do they appreciate these huge efforts? Yes, of course. We have the last thing now today at the OpenStack Summit in Vancouver. We have the Edge Computing Day, and the last uh, big deal was to translate the uh, Edge Computing white paper. And this was done in a very short time frame, and we delivered this um, at least in, in Chinese, for example. And you can download this on the website. This is very huge progress. Yeah. Terrific. Well, Frank and Ian, thank you both very much for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank also. you.